Good morning, everyone. It's day four. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to style my hair today. Um, I'm going to do a wet and go. In other words, I'm going to wet down my hair in the shower. Um, the only difference between my wash and go and my wet and go is I will not be doing a co-wash um, in terms of washing my scalp, cleansing my scalp and hair. I won't be going through the motion in terms of that. And I will not be parting my hair um, to prepare for applying products. Basically, I'm just going to wet down my hair. Um, today's conditioner, I'm going to be doing the conditioner gel method to define my curls. Um, I'll be using this Vital Plus Herbal Organics Conditioner. I like switching up my conditioners. I don't like always using the same one when I use it as a styling product because some conditioners have more moisturizing ingredients and some have more protein um, conditioning ingredients. So I like to kind of alternate between the two different kinds. Um, I will be using the Labella Clear Styling Gel as well as extra virgin olive oil. I also want to say prior to getting in the shower, I have taken off my plastic bag um, as I did the bagging method the night before after moisturizing with the creamy moisturizer. So I'm taking those out now and then I will be hopping in the shower and getting this thing started. Okay, I'm going to wet down my hair with warm water. Let the water run down the hair. Get it saturated. Why I'm trying to get it to go back is because I'm going to be wearing my hair all back today. There, make sure it's completely saturated. Make sure it's completely saturated. At this point, I take the conditioner. Then I'm using Vital Plus Herbal Organics. Lots of it. This is again what's going to help form the curls. And there's no separating at this point. My curls are pretty much already formed from um, a couple days worth of products already. And from already doing the wash and go conditioner gel method. So this just kind of kind of gets them more refined if there was any separation that occurred within the last couple of days. Any separation of curls rather, which um, produces fuzziness. That conditioner all through. I'm going to load it. Bunch of in there. Especially your more uh, coarse areas of your hair. Like for me, that would be this part here. And again, Doing the smoothing technique that really gets your curls formed with the conditioner. So really smoothing it, smoothing it in there. Okay. How the curls are forming with the conditioner. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the extra virgin olive oil. Which again is a nice emollient. And this helps with the curl definition as well. Helps to find the curls more as well. For my olive oil, I use about, I don't know, two to three handfuls. You just gotta go by the feel of your hair when, you, when um, you're determining how much product to use. You just gotta go by the feel of your hair. Some hair is thicker. Mine hair is very thick. Some hair is more fine or, or less coarse. So it may vary from person to person. 
smooth, smooth, smooth. And again, the smoothing is really what's getting my curls to form. Okay. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic bag again, because like I said in my day one AM video, the plastic bag kind of helps um, get the hair saturated with the product and just smooth it out uh, more, which contributes to more defined curls. I'm going to go ahead and do my business in the shower, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Now since we gave the conditioner a chance to emulsify and saturate the hair, I can take my plastic cap off, do a bit more smoothing. You can feel the difference in when I first put the conditioner in, and you see the curl definition. This from the conditioner and water so far. So again, if you're using the conditioner only method, um, after, I, after you do the cold rinse, you can stop at there. You can even stop at here if you want if you don't see much um, white residue. But as you can see, the curls are already defined from the water and the conditioner that I used. But because I like the curl elongation and um, the extra defineness, I will be doing the conditioner gel method. So I'm going to go ahead and do that magical cold rinse. And again, this just helps seal the cuticle and give the curls popping even more. So here we go. Okay, the cold rinse is done. Curls are more defined. Yes, they're stripping wet. Um, at this point, again, if you're using conditioner only method, you can stop here. You can give your hair a nice shape to get rid of the excess moisture, and you can leave it that way. But again, I am doing the conditioner gel method for the extra definition and elongation to um, lay down my hair more because my hair is very thick and I like the weight. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead, grab some gel, some globs of it, about this much. And no parting involved, I'm just going to go ahead and squish it in there. No detangling. Make sure every strand is coated. So you can just squish it in there like that. And then smooth it in. I kind of just detangle with my fingers. Break and smooth method. Some extra on the sides and edges since I will be um, wearing my hair all back. And for a headband, I'm using just a piece of the nylon. So I put that in. I do all my styling in the shower when I'm doing my wet and dirty and washing it. Just tie that in the back. Just the same way I would do my cuff with the nylon and just slide the nine liners back as far as you want it to go. So that's the part I want it to go. Give you a quick look before I do the cold rinse. And again, what the cold rinse does, it just kind of like separates the curls more and gives it more um, flexibility and movement. So, here we go, another cold rinse. You don't have to do the cold rinse, I just like them on the cold rinse. Um, because it just gives me the results that I really, really like. 
And there's some problems we can't stand the cold water, but it doesn't bother me. dripping wet so at this point I'm going to go ahead and give it a huge shake like as if I'm a dog be right back all right guys I did the shake and as you can see it did separate the curls a little bit more and I am getting the drippy so I'm gonna take my t-shirt an old t-shirt and just scrunch out the excess water there's also another way you can do it called the plopping method. And this is how I would do that. Basically, I put the t-shirt on just over my head, like so. And then pull it around and over and under. And you can plop it out that way. That's just another way do it. Okay, and again, the t-shirt is better than a towel because it doesn't cause frizz like a towel would. You could also use uh, paper towels. There, a lot of the excess moisture is out. Um, you can also use paper towels or microfiber towels. Now, if you did notice any, you know, top frizzies, after drying your hair, you just want to take a little bit more gel and just kind of graze over the top layer of your hair. Like so. And you can either let your hair air dry or you can use a blow dryer with a diffuser, but I would recommend using cool air. But I always air dry my hair. I do not like, again, I'm, I do not like heat on my hair. So I'm scrunching some more gel in the ends where I blotted dry my hair, just so make sure there's no frizzies. And voila. This is day four, guys. Wet and go using conditioner gel method.